Okay, you guys, welcome to my new beauty room. I'm so excited to show you. I feel like this video has been forever in the making. So excited to share it with you guys today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick little turn around and then I'm gonna start on this side of the room. All right, so as you walk in, I'm gonna close this door. Just got a couple of my robes hung up over there. And as you walk in, I've got my couch that I'm so in love with. It took me forever to find the right one, uh, but I'm so happy with it. And the, I think the name of the place I got it from, it was online and it was Classy, Classy Home Furniture. And above it, I've just got the Chanel canvas that I found at Ross. I don't know what has been going on at Ross lately, but they have been having really, really, really good stuff, uh, especially like pictures for your beauty room. So if you like it, go check your local Ross. I found that um, just a couple weeks ago. And on the couch, um, those pillows, the two pillows, the pink ones came with the couch. And then the one in the middle was sent to me by Girly Pink Boutique on Instagram. Love it. And the blanket over there, uh, I stole it from my mom. <laughs> I thought it kind of looked almost like the LV print in a way. Um, so I asked her for it. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was cute. Um, and then I've got my ottoman here from Hobby Lobby. And some roses just sitting on it right now that my husband got me for my birthday. Um, and I do want to replace this ottoman. I feel like it's just too small. Um, Home Goods usually has some really cute ones, but of course I haven't been able to get over to Home Goods here lately. So hopefully when I run up on one soon, I just feel like that one's too small for the space. All right, so moving along over here is my little coffee bar area. And this really cute canvas came from Burlington. And then, let's see, pretty much everything up here, I mean, short of the Keurig, came from home goods um this little display stand came from home goods i've just got some little k-cups up there and then this cute little christmas display yes i know it's january and i still have christmas stuff out but i think i'm gonna leave mine some of it just a couple pieces up till probably after valentine's day but um this was sent to me from an instagram boutique called sweet crafty girl if you guys are interested. And then I've got my little pink Keurig. And I've got this really cute Tiffany & Co. mug from Vanity Chic Boutique on Instagram. And then I've got my little bling canister that I found at Home Goods, And I just put some little conversation hearts in there. And then my gingerbread house that I searched and hunted for for weeks uh, <laughs> from Home Goods. And then just some little cups. And then down inside here, I've just got some of my mugs. And um, a couple candles in there. And I did want to do a bar cart. But I had that cabinet. And I mean, I really didn't know what else to do with it. So I think it turned out cute. I'm probably going to leave it like that for a while. I mean, I might go with a bar cart one day. But I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. All right, so moving over here. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. I plan on doing a Valentine's Day tree. I just hadn't gotten around to it. <laughs> um, yeah, my Christmas tree's still up. But I do want to do a Valentine's Day tree. I figured that would be really cute with some heart ornaments on it. I just need to find some. And then uh, my curtains over here. I really, really uh, love these because... They're sheer, but they've also got this really pretty, like, pink feathering. I found these at the at-home store. And then I just tied uh, some ribbon around them right there. All right, and then over here is my vanity area. So, that's probably my favorite area of the whole room is my vanity area. Um, my vanity is from Impressions Vanity. Uh... I think it's the Slay Station Pro 2. And then I've got my little Ikea lac shelves over here. And I just put um, perfume, a bunch of perfume up here, basically. Um, 
these boxes. I get questions on these all the time. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you guys, go ahead and head over there and follow. I'm on there daily, um, and I post a lot of stuff, like, that I find from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, and if you have any questions, like, I get back to people quick on there. I live on Instagram, so I'll have it linked in the description, but if you're interested in these boxes, uh, these are from Amazon UK. Like, that's the only place I could find them. These are the Ted Baker jewelry boxes. It's probably one, these are probably one of, like, my, my favorite, uh, pieces that I, that I own. Uh, and then down here, I've just got some of my Juicy Couture perfumes displayed. And then my little jewelry stand. Um, and I found this on Amazon. Oh, and I did start an Amazon storefront. So anything I find on Amazon that you guys are interested, uh, I have linked on there. And that is linked in the description of my Instagram page. I will try to link it on here as well if anybody is interested. And then down here, I've just got some lipsticks and some makeup. Alright, so moving over here to my vanity. Uh, the Tiffany & Co. frame picture I found from at Ross. And then a super cute little sleep mask was sent to me by Girly Pink Boutique. Both of those. The little Hello Kitty one too. And then you guys have seen my vanity before. But, um, I'm thinking about doing an update of vanity tour. And I also know like, I need to declutter a lot of stuff. As you can see, like, yeah, she's a little packed. So let me get, let me know if you guys would be interested in watching that. Um, but up here, I've just got this really cute uh, flower arrangement that was sent to me from Grand Floors. Um, and these roses smell amazing. And then I've got my little uh, brush display that I found on Amazon. Um, and let's see here. This really pretty Dior uh, bouquet from I won in a giveaway from Pretty Luxury Boutiques over on Instagram. And then this beautiful pearl palette from Yasmin's Glam Room. Uh, she is on Instagram as well. My bling brushes. And I need to find a spot to hang this up. My sister got me this for my birthday. Um, I don't know what I'm going to hang on it, but it's super cute. So yeah, and then oh, a little rose display. I also won this in a giveaway um, from a girl on Instagram. She makes those. I think her name is Mia Ray. I think that's her handle on Instagram if anybody is interested. And then, so let's move over to this wall. So this wall over here, I plan on getting a pack system. I don't have one right now, so I decided to go with the Target bookshelves. My Ikea is unfortunately like a four-hour drive for me, um, and I really don't want to pay $300 for delivery. So, I figured until I do get my pack system, which is probably going to be a couple months, I would do the bookshelves. And then I think after I get my pack system, I'm going to move my bookshelves over to the closet over there. But, anyway, starting with the canvases. So... The first one right here I found off of Amazon, and that's linked to my storefront as well. This one was from At Home, and I absolutely love it. Like, I just love, <laughs> love, love it. Uh, At Home has some really, really cute uh, pictures. And starting on the bookshelf. So, up top, I've got my Home Goods gingerbread house that I can't seem to put away. Um, I don't know. I'll probably put it up after Valentine's Day is, is over with, but... And then this really cute canvas picture that my sister found for me at Ross. And then this gorgeous rose bear that was sent to me from Love Crafty Mommy. She makes them. Uh, she has a boutique on Instagram. And she did send it to me for Christmas. Um, the mail was so backed up. Like, so backed up. Everybody knows. Um, and it got here after Christmas. And I really, <laughs> I didn't want to pack it away. So, uh, I took some of the ornaments off that she had put on there. And I figured when Christmas rolls around next year, I'll just stick them back on. And then, let's see. Let's start over here. So, over here, I've just got this little Too Faced makeup bag. And my little Juicy Couture box that my perfume came in. Um, a little brush holder. Uh, down here, uh, just some little boxes. 
uh, this Charmed Aroma candle that smells amazing. And then down here, this rose box. Um, I made that, I don't know, like two years ago. And then the little gingerbread house. I'm going to leave that one up all year. <laughs> I don't think it looks like Christmas. Um, and it lights up. My little gingerbread house and then down here we've just got this little jewelry stand with my little rose bear um and just some lotions and a little picture and then on this one um just a couple of my starbucks tumblers and then this really cute lipstick organizer right here was sent to me from uh love crafty mommy and that is it for that side all right, so then when we move over here, I've got my Bath and Body Works candles displayed up here. And then this really cute picture that I found at Home Goods. Um, and this little nutcracker display is from Home Goods as well. And the brush holder is too. Are we seeing a theme here? I love Home Goods. Um, I just put the little LV sticker on the brush holder and stuck some brushes in there. But And then on this next one, uh, the purse in the middle was sent to me from Girly Pink Boutique as well. And then I've just got some makeup cases, uh, Too Faced and Victoria's Secret. And then on the next one, this little shadow box that I made uh, when I was bored. <laughs> and then some tumblers. Um, this Tiffany & Co. one was sent to me from my friend Vita. She has a boutique uh, called Fancy Crafts & Co. If you guys are interested, she's on Instagram. And then this one was sent to me from another friend, uh, Slay Estelle, on Instagram. Um, super cute. And then down here, just a couple of uh, makeup bags and a Victoria's Secret box. That's it for the bookcase. And... Um, my husband actually, if anybody was wondering, he nailed this together. I, I feel like it gave it a little bit more of a custom look. Um, I don't know, until I get my pack system, but yeah, that's it. And then over here, um, let's see, the picture came from Ross. And then my little stand-up mirror, uh, I found um, a yard sale a couple years ago, and I just repainted it. I do want to switch it out for a really tall mirror stand up mirror um a white one but yeah it'll work for now so then over here is my closet area i'm not finished with it yet and on the sides of it i do have some uh, floating white shelves that i want to put on the side i just haven't put them up yet but and the closet's not exactly I don't know. The closet kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's not exactly how I want it. I got rid of a lot of stuff before I moved in this room. And some of it I probably shouldn't have. But I've got my room now. And I figure now, you know, now that I know where things are going to be going. And I've got much more space. As much shopping as I do, I'm sure I'll have it filled up. But it's just random stuff in this closet. Um, but the little chandelier right here, I found at Ross. And this closet... It was, uh, it had doors on it. My husband just took it off. The shelving was already in there, but he did go ahead and redo the, uh, curtain rod, cur curtain rods. Oh my gosh. The hanger rods, whatever you want to call them. He went ahead and redid those for me. And I've just got a couple of my clothes down here. Um, I didn't want to move my whole closet down here. And then down here, I've got this really cute rolling cart that I found at Home Goods. With a little acrylic organizer right here with just some random odds and ends. And I really, this year I really want to work on my bag collection. I feel like over the years um, I've gotten rid of so many of my bags and purses. And I want to start collecting them again. When I do, I want to have them like all displayed in this area. But for now, uh, this is... This is all I've got over here. And then, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Um, I wish, maybe I can get a clip of it at night, but my husband installed this really pretty uh, pink LED light for me. And at night, like, it turns the whole room pink. Looks really cool because everything is so white in here. Like, there's so many white. My vanity looks really cool when it's lit up like it, but maybe I can put a clip in, but... 
yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea he came up with. And then that's, that's about it for the closet. And I was thinking of putting possibly, I don't know. You, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. But I was thinking, let me get backed up. So I was thinking of maybe like doing curtains like swept to the side on each side of the closet. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Couldn't decide. Um, and the chandelier my husband found at Home Depot. And I love it. Super bright. Really pretty. And then as we move over here, uh, I've got this little acrylic cart that I found at Home Goods uh, last year. And I got really lucky on it. I had been wanting one for forever. And it was like 150 bucks, And I kept watching it, kept watching it. Finally, they marked it down and I got it for like $45. Yeah. Um, so let's see. The Tiffany and Co. uh rose arrangement was from Made by Sweet Peach on Instagram. And then the little brush organizer over here I won in a giveaway. And uh, let's see. She I think she still makes those. Um her name is Mire on Instagram if you guys are interested. And then down here, my little jewelry organizer from uh, Ross. And then just picture, a little book. That's it on the cart. And if anybody was wanting to know the paint, like my husband, I'm so, the paint job he did in here is unreal. Uh, we went, we decided to go with a flat paint. I figured since I was going to be taking so many, um, Instagram pics in here. I just figured it would show up better on camera, but he did. He put in so much work resurfacing these walls. Uh, these walls were tan before and they, they were kind of rough. Uh, he did an amazing job. Like I, I'm in love with the paint job. And he also put me up the crown molding up top. I just feel like it makes the paint pop. Um, but the paint was flat and I think it was Valspar Art Deco Pink. If anybody was interested, um, but yeah, it's just my perfect pink. I love a nice pale pink and he did an amazing job painting. So yeah, you guys, that is it for my room tour. Hopefully I didn't drag on for too long. Um, I definitely want to up more, like, upload more on this channel this year. I know I said that a lot last year, but now that I finally got my space, um, I definitely want to do more videos. Let me know any suggestions you have of stuff you would like to see. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you know when I do upload a video. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you're interested. Like I said, I post on there. I'm on there like every day. I post. Um, and any questions you guys have, just feel free to, to uh, DM me on there. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you are.